Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach. Today we're going to ask the age-old question, is this an outlet? If you're like me, even at a master level, I still will call a receptacle an outlet, and sometimes I'll even call it worse, a plug. So today we're going to ask the question, is this technically an outlet? Have we been saying it wrong our whole lives, and why does it even matter? Let's get to it. All right, so to answer this question, we're going to have to define what an outlet is. And the best place to define things in the NEC is going to be in Article 100. Article 100 are going to be code-wide definitions. So let's go find out if there is a definition for outlet. And there is. It says a point on the wiring system at which current is taken to supply utilization equipment. So today we're going to learn about the three main types of outlets. Let's get to it. Let's imagine that we're in this kitchen. So the first one's going to be located here. The second one is going to be located here. I'll take my pointer and show you. If you'll pay close attention, there is a wire being stubbed up on the other side of this stud, and then it's going to be so it's not laying out on the floor. They've got it looped up here until they get ready to, you know, put on the drywall. And the third type of outlet is going to be up here in the ceiling. So let's jump right into the first type. So the first type of outlets are receptacle outlets. That is a place in a wiring system where we install a receptacle so we can plug in and use utilization equipment. So this is technically an outlet, but it you have to be very careful throwing around that term, and we're going to learn why here shortly. So this is a receptacle outlet. The second type of outlets are hardwired outlets. And a good example, and what's going to be used here, is going to be the dishwasher. They've stubbed out this wire right here. So hopefully the drywallers remember to poke it through the back and the cabinet guys remember to poke it through the back. That way it doesn't get lost in the wall. And they're going to hardwire a dishwasher. So this is a hardwired outlet. And the third type of outlet is going to be lighting outlets. So we're going to jump into the dining room for this one because of the shape of my picture. And we're going to imagine that we put this can light in this dining room over here. And this is going to be a lighting outlet. So we have three types of outlets, receptacle outlets, hardwired outlets, and lighting outlets. You'll say, why does any of this matter? Well, it matters critically when it comes down to reading and interpreting the NEC. So if you head over to 210.8, which is going to be our GFCI requirements, and it says all receptacles, 125 volts or less, are required to be GFCI protected, well, then it's talking about receptacle outlets. Anywhere in the system that you're you know, attaching a receptacle to, it's required to be GFCI protected. But if that same code, like in the 2020, was worded all outlets, we have to be very careful there. Someone could read that and think that they're saying receptacles, but no, when they say all outlets, they're meaning in that specific location that's listed there, meaning lighting, hardwired, or receptacle outlets. So you have to be really careful in the code, and there are some exceptions there. We're not going to get into the actual code today. But I was using GFCI protection as a perfect example of why you need to understand the difference between the term outlet and an actual receptacle outlet, because it can make a huge difference on how you interpret and apply the code. I am the Electrical Code Coach. I hope this video added a little bit of value to you. If you would like to subscribe, we would love to bring you more content and serve you on a greater level. If there's anything that I can do for you in life or business, you can always email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.